Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another episode of Focus on Sound here at Regent Sounds. Uh, today we're looking at this beautiful, very amazingly affordable, fantastic guitar, uh, the Squire Bullet Stratocaster. These really are fantastic first instruments. They are not too expensive. Uh, they have everything you could want for your first, uh, from your first guitar. Uh, this particular one is a hardtail. It's got an intonatable six saddle bridge, uh, just like the more expensive models. It's a basswood body. Uh, it's quite lightweight actually, uh, a basswood body, a maple neck with a laurel fingerboard, a uh, nine and a half inch radius on this uh, with 21 medium jumbo frets. For those of you who are looking perhaps to buy your first electric guitar, uh, maybe a quick rundown on how this is laid out and how it works. So we have a master volume knob here that controls signal to all three pickups, uh, a five-way blade selector here which allows you to select between each five different combinations of uh, these three pickups. Uh, two tone controls that affect the neck pickup here and this one here will affect the bridge and middle pickup. Uh, so you have five very versatile, very classic electric guitar sounds. When the uh, switch is in position one here, it selects the bridge pickup, so that's quite a bright sound. And then as we move in, we combine bridge and middle, it's a slight different. So as, as we move up, we basically uh, select different combinations. So here, position two, we've got these two. Middle position, we've got that one. Fourth position, we have neck and uh, middle pickups, and here we have the neck pickup. As a basic explanation, it goes from brighter down here all the way up to a darker tone up here. And it's just your typical, very famous Stratocaster design, uh, which give you all the guitar tones you could possibly want, really, uh, to get started. So let's hear how it sounds. Today we're running through a particularly beautiful amplifier. Uh, we have a vintage uh, Fender Deluxe amp here from 1964. Uh, this particular one has had a speaker upgrade. We're running the fantastic Tone Tubby Purple Haze, uh, an El Nico hemp cone speaker, handmade in the US. Um, great, it's, got, uh, it's a 40 watt rated speaker and it's got a lot of smooth sort of overtones and compression and it's just a very, very musical speaker, very efficient as well. Um, so it's a fantastic pairing with this amplifier. Um, for overdrive, we are running the Vemuram Shanks ODS-1 and because the amp doesn't have reverb, we've added a little reverb from the Sourced, Source Audio True Spring reverb pedal here. We're also miking the amp today with the SEV7 series dynamic mic. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Well, I hope you found that useful, guys, in terms of just hearing what the guitar is capable of. Um, as I explained with the pickup selector, it's super versatile. You have everything from really sort of like sweet, sultry neck, neck tones to really brash, bright uh, bridge tones, particularly when you use the overdrive. Um, it's, it would make a great guitar for somebody who's considering uh, their first instrument. Um, and it's, of course, the iconic Stratocaster played by some of the greatest names in the in terms of electric guitar and music history in general. So, um, yeah, it feels good. It looks brilliant. It's super lightweight and it's very, very affordable. And we rate it really highly here at Regent Sounds. Uh, you can find this particular guitar on our website, regentsounds.com, or you can come into Denmark Street and pick one up and play it for yourself here in our store here in London. Um, aside from that, I hope you enjoy the video. Please feel free to subscribe uh, if you did and let us know your thoughts in the comments and I'll make social, social media links appear beneath me right now so feel free to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And with that, I'll sign out. Peace.